Good morning. No, it's afternoon now, I believe. Welcome to the City of Healing. This is your sister, Jeanette and Ter Angela. Wanted to come forth and share uh, five of the most popular scents that I wore in October. I've worn a lot of uh, perfumes and combinations, but I'm going to list, you know, five of them starting from um, the least loved to the most loved even though I love all of them, but just a little bit of a ranking. And uh, let's get ready to start. One of my favorite scents or classification of scents is musk fragrances. And I have a few musk fragrances, uh, such as you, and um, I have one, uh, not a perfume, and a, a few of them I have. Um, but this one is one of my favorites, one of the most long-lasting, um, and it is, this what is name is, Malachi, Maliki, Mus, Mal Mus Maliki or Mus Malachi, and this is a beautiful fragrance. It is pure musk, and it is an oil, comes in this little package, and it, like I said, it's an oil. I did, wish it didn't come as a dapper and wish it was more, you know, maybe like a bulb or a little spray, but it'll be fine because it's thin enough to be a spray. This has lasted over a year. I haven't even got halfway, but of course I have a lot of fragrances. Uh, so, and a lot of musk fragrance as well. You can of course combine this with other fragrances as well, but for me, it's very long lasting. I probably do like four dabs, one here, one here, one here, one here. And like I said, it lasts me all day. And if I wanna smell it myself, you know, throughout the day, if I'm working, I put some on my hand and smell it throughout the day. So I wore this a lot in October, especially to work. It's not offensive, it's uh, very pleasant smelling. And if you know the scent of musk, this is it, it's beautiful. And I got this, I think, would I get this off of Amazon? I believe so. And it was relatively inexpensive, maybe $40, I think. I think, I'm not sure. And then the next one is Chocolate Greedy by Montel. If you love chocolate fragrances, you'll love this, even though this is not very potent and long lasting. I do find myself wearing other uh, creams and oils with it to enhance it, but it is very much so a dark chocolate fragrance. Love it a lot. And I wore this at least two or three times in October. And I don't usually wear, you know, little chocolate fragrances um, that often. Then the next one, which is, I have the original and a inspired or dupe to that fragrance as well. And that fragrance is Bianca Latte. I keep this in the package. And as we know, this is a very, very popular vanilla fragrance, gourmand fragrance, uh, very de de delicious. I was on the fence about getting it because it was um, on the mid kind of expensive side. So I didn't want to get it and eventually I heard it was a um, dupe to it so I got that caramel cascade and I love this and as it aged it got even better and I was like hmm, I wonder if Bianca Latte really smells this good and if so is it better so eventually I did get Bianca Latte and they do smell just a lot very very similar over 90% um, similar so this is a little bit more refined, it's a little richer as well. But if you have this, you don't really need this because they are very, very similar, very delicious. And I wore this a lot too. <laughs> and then the next one, as I mentioned, one of my favorite fragrances, I even mentioned it yesterday, is Fa and it's original Lone D. It is this amber, tuberose, uh, dark orange patchouli fragrance. I got this first. I never knew this existed. 
and I got this. I loved it. I just, it was one of my favorite fragrances. It was on the number one list. I loved it. I wore it and I wore it. Got so many compliments on it. Finally decided one day to go and get this and I love this even more. Much more refined, much deeper, much rich, richer. But I still love this. Glad I have both. If you have this, did you know need to go and get the more a little bit more expensive one? Not really. They smell very, very similar. This was like $20 and this was like $120, $140. but trust me they are very very familiar so what was the most worn and the most favorite fragrance of October okay I'm gonna tell you this is the fragrance um, that I had was on the fence about getting it and because I got the original first uh, vanilla rock sugar candy and me and my daughter love this. This was just yummy. It was bubble gum. It was sweet. It was vanilla. It had some patchouli in it. It was delicious. I found it not only fun and interesting, also found it very delicious and sexy too. I love this. So I eventually went on and got Confections by Paris Corner. And let me tell you, they are so, so similar. So this, I think, was about $20, $30, and this was like $120. So if you have this, do you need this? No, because they are very, very similar. This is a little bit more thicker and richer and longer lasting, but, you know, this may be all day for me, eight hours. This may be six, seven hours. What's the difference? Not, not that much, but I love this bottle. I love this bottle as well. Very beautiful fragrance. And this was the most worn and the most loved fragrance of October. So what's your favorite fragrance? <laughs> what fragrances do you find yourself reaching for? Even though these are not the only fragrances that I reach for in October, but the ones that I found that I was drawn most to for the month of October. So I love fragrances. They are so interesting to me. And like I said before, it's not just the clothing that you put on that defines, you know, not necessarily who you are on this physical, but also the fragrance, your aroma, your scent is very interesting and key to me. Just FYI and just as an abstraction, distraction rather for everything that's going on in the world today it is indeed some interesting times but you know keep your faith if you have a faith pray if you need to pray and just stay focused and follow more than ever your heart anyway thanks for visiting the city until next time take care